Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed, April 10, 2019, 12.52 a.m. Birmingham, and topic, wow, Netanyahu, a very solid sound defeat, and it's rare to even win and keep your seats, but to win and gain two seats. That put him in one of the highest wins he's ever had. In fact, the highest win anyone's ever had for a long time. So he was right on up there. You know, and, and that to me wasn't a, it's no, a no brainer. I mean, fully expected that happened with the things that's coming on the heels of this. Now, and here's what you can expect, and probably about 10 days, um, they'll start talking about the peace plan, but I really don't expect us to hear anything until mid, late May. And um, so we'll know, kind of, we'll have a real, really good idea of what we need to be doing immediately after we hear what that peace plan is. It could be telling you to prepare to go home. We don't know. But I want to go back to to um, the um, AG and all of a sudden the left are demanding all that he's got. And if you recall, we asked for it over and over and over and never got it. So this AG is going to have fun with the left. You better bet he is. And um, not only that, when he does hand over, he's going to hand it over co-equally to the left and to you. We will see everything that they did, the left, the liberal, at the same time they see it. And then you will know all along who your enemy was. They're not going away. I say they're not. I also understand a lot of rest, writs or warrants have been drawn up as we speak today. Nunez is hard at work. Man, he's putting those things out. A lot of people's in trouble. And... Um, so these are two bits of information that you probably already know, but it excites me in, in, in many ways. But the biggest of all is now we have a shoe on the other foot and we love it that way with us, the establishment against the righteous over there. Do you agree with that? Or do you think they're the establishment and we're the righteous? We're the ones that have not stood up and raised hell at these people, not like they've raised hell at us. So we're not righteous, no, but we're not, well, I don't want to say the word, but we're not assholes. But being patient is paying off for us. We're going to show them who they really are. The establishment fought this tooth and nail, and they lose it one tooth at a time. And um, besides that, keep in mind, keep your eyes closely glued to what happens in Israel. That's our clock. That's our timepiece. It's, it's like watching a timer counting down to zero. Guys, when you go through the history of time, we have reached 6,000 years. 7,000 years should start any day. And um, just be aware of that. And of course, I know you know the other news about not giving out the information that they would want him to give out. They didn't give it to us, they redacted three quarters of what they gave us. And I'm just wondering, well, one thing, 
they'll get the information unredacted to a point of where, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're giving me stuff that's got my name on it saying I did this. Well, that's right. You did that. And we want the whole world to see what you did, especially those who voted for you. So this is the way that's going to turn out. It's going to turn out hurting major way. It's going to turn out taking the Democratic Party down is what it's going to do. And as far as Republicans, look, we're going to have Trump four more years when he finishes the next year and a half. We're going to have four more years. Make no beans about it. And Netanyahu, uh, he'll be there to the end of days. So I just wanted to throw that in and air out my two cents worth and just pay attention to what happens in Israel. Close, close attention. What happens here has no bearing on the time. What happens in Israel has everything to do with the time. Jody Wolf exposed.